Alright, this video is to show the collectibles in the new Duality Dungeon to get all the repressed memories. Let's get started. First one is in the main room at the beginning. Once you get to the top where you're supposed to shoot the barrel across the map, instead of shooting that to progress, go to your right. And then you're going to find a door that's open. There you go, there's your little chug jug. Your next one is the exact same doorway, except you have to be in the uh, Nightmare Realm, so shoot the barrel. Kill this guy if you have to, or if you want to, up to you. And then just go over here. There you go, number two. I'll let the audio play out in case people want to hear it, and then um, we'll go to the next one. Your next memory is going to be in the Nightmare Realm again. Make sure you're at the point where you're looking across the dog statue right here. This little walkway. Just memorize the pattern. Two dog statues across with a T beam. And then what you got to do is you'll be at this window. You should be looking at that one. That's where you progress. Turn to your left. And then there's a ledge right behind this beam to jump to. And there you go. That's the next one. Next collectible is in this room right before you go to the drop down that leads to the first boss. What you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and jump up there into the pillar section. You can do this by using these pillars and then just use one of the doorways with uh, Chaos's face. I, I think that's his face. Anyway, just do that and then go up here and here is your next chug jug. Thank you. 
Your next memory is going to be located during the first boss section. You can get this either during the boss fight or you can get it afterwards. It's going to be locked inside the War Beast room, which will be right over here. So as soon as I open it, uh, it's inside the room. I'll just be uh, going inside, ignoring the ads, and then uh, show you the Chug Jug. Let's just get this Colossus down. All right, there we go. And it's right here. Not exactly hidden. Next one is in the coffin platform section, so this is where you would be going to make the exit. Instead of going right, you're going to turn left, and just do some uh, platforming. Make sure to bring a sword if you're not comfortable. And there is your next chug jug. Next memory is located at the part of the jumping section where you make that huge jump to the corner over there. Instead of making this huge jump, you're going to just look down and go here. Sabathu. Sabathu. She knew he had me. Had I not birthed Galva, had he not donned the crown, I would be lost. The voice warned me of her, but I did not heed it. And the voice is so silent now. Okay, so your next one will be in this uh, quad statue room. You have to be behind one of these pillars. I started at where the secret chest is, so if you want to do the same as me, go ahead. And here you go. Again, I was at the pillar that had the secret chest door opening, and just stand there, get teleported into the Nightmare Realm, and here you are. Your next memory is the end of the uh, vault encounter. You're going to go to the dog side. In case you didn't know, you can tell where it is by looking at these. So, there is a war beast. And you're basically just going to start climbing these like you're playing Super Mario. Uh, it's kind of an awkward climb. Hopefully your mantling works better than mine. And uh, there you go. It 
Number 10 is kind of a freebie. It's in this cube shape room. As you get here, you go down, and boom, there it is. Also, additionally, there is a secret chest right here. This next one's also in the cube room, just in the upper level, so you would have to take two teleports to get here um, when you're on these beams in the rafters, if you would call. So you're going to start over there. Let me just go back just in case. You would spawn here after the teleport. You'd be looking over there, so you go to your right. And it should be right here. This would be number 11. Now there's only one left. Finally, number 12 will be right before you head down to Keitel. You will hop on this platform right here. And then you will take a jump over here. And there is number 12. Alright, there you have it. That is all the collectibles in the Duality Dungeon. Hopefully this helps you get all the lore and get the exotic sword. And uh, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Catch you in the next one. Goodbye.